we've definitely missed being around the room, missed the game, and now that we're back, everyone's excited and just antsy to get going. It's been a long process since the deal was agreed upon. We've been waiting to, to officially start, and now we're here. So it's a great day for, for hockey, and, and we're looking forward to getting it going because once we do, you've seen the schedule. It's a lot of games, and, and that's exciting as a player. You guys are going to talk about in the room about fans themselves. I mean, it's been a long lockout for everybody, right? Uh, what are the guys saying when it comes to the fans? Well, we, we miss the fans. Uh, we miss playing games in, in front of them. We've got great fans here. And it's been difficult as players to, to not be playing in front of them. And like I said, we've got the best fans in the league. And we can't wait to get out there and play in front of them again. How long does it usually take for a team jealous? Well, that, that happens at, at different rates because usually during the preseason, you're not playing your full roster until the last two or three games. Uh, of the preseason with a, a regular camp. So with the, the situation we're in, you're going to have to gel quick. And we don't have a lot of new guys coming in, but uh, the guys that, that we have brought in have been skating with us. And it's, uh, there's not a lot of time. You've got to come together quick and get off, uh, get off on the right foot and, and, and win hockey games early. I think this roster is on. Are you optimistic in this team get back to playoffs after nine years? I'm optimistic that, that we're going to we're going to play and, and grow as a group together. We've got to, we've got to be better. We, uh, it's a fresh start for everyone. It's a short year. Every team's in the same boat. Uh, there's zeros across the board. Every team's got a week to get ready for, for the first game, give or take, maybe an extra day for some teams. But the biggest thing is coming together quickly and starting good. And right now our focus is to have a good practice today. After today, go on to tomorrow and, and one day at a time right now. Think it was a little help that you got to see Randy breaking games over last season. I think it was definitely very beneficial for our team to to have Randy here at the the end of last year, just to see how he he runs everything, and basically to get a feel for the group, and, and as vice versa for players to understand how how he likes things ran and and what style he wants to play, and I think it was very beneficial for him to be here for that time, and we're looking forward to getting out there and starting again with him. I know it's a short year, but right from you know game one. Well, you think, I noticed that uh, Carlisle over here earlier. They said they want to increase the compete level of this group. How in the room do you change that culture and increase the raise the bar? Well, we're as a group. We've got you know we know we've got to be better, and we 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 showed signs of you know that last year. We had good stretches. We had some bad stretches, but right now we're not looking at last year or, or what's different between last year and this year. This year is this year and we're going to focus on right from when we get out there today is coming together as quick as possible and working hard for each other and doing everything we can to win hockey games because at the end of the day that's what it's about is winning games and, and we've, got to, we've got to do that as a group and as a team. I know you don't want to talk that much about last year because it's going to be yeah. patron, but what do you think will be the differences fans will see watching this team? Well, I think what they're going to notice is there's a lot more games in a short period as a fan, but uh, the difference in, in styles, I think Randy showed what kind of style he was putting in place last year. He, he, he's a defense first minded coach, but with saying that, don't take away from the offensive side of it. I think what he preaches to us is that when you're good in the defensive zone, and, and, it, it, and it is true, you see the, the good teams that, that are good defensively always score goals. So when, when, you have, when you have the puck more, which is being a good defensive team, that's going to create more offense. And I think that's the biggest thing. We're still going to be an up-tempo team. We, he still wants us to play that, that fast, up-tempo hockey, but we've got to tighten up in our own end. How do you think you've grown as captain the past few years? I feel, I feel very comfortable in, in this role. And it, it's not, uh, we haven't had success as a team, and, and I, you know, I definitely take that uh, as part of my job. But uh, as a group, I think we have taken strides, and, and we're going we're gonna to keep doing that this year. We, like I said, we had spurts last year and, and the year before that were, were real good, but we just we did not sustain it. And at the end of the day, that, that's what you have to do. You've got to play a full year, and you know, right now we're focused on having a good year, and that's the biggest thing. And the past is in the past, and like I said, I'm very comfortable in the role.
today supposedly was the first time you could talk to Randy and David for months. What did you say when you first saw them? Well, to be honest with you, they've been uh, they've been pretty busy, so we haven't we haven't had a whole lot of conversation yet. Uh, I know we've got a meeting shortly there that that we're going to have uh, as a team, and and then we start camp and and get back on the ice. And I know from being in the room, everyone's excited to get back and and get. It's different being here informally and skating together is when you get out there with the coaching staff and and there's a system put in place and and it's for real now because we're playing games next Saturday. So it's uh, it's an exciting time of year. The players didn't have any uh, physical best. Are you <laughs> that the players uh, are in shape? Yeah. We're all professional athletes. We, we know what you have to do to be ready. And I think as, as an athlete, you, you have to take that upon yourself to be prepared and ready to go. It was a difficult circumstance with the lockout going as long as it did to, to keep pushing and keep training throughout the whole thing. But I, I know from you know the guys that we have here, guys were training and stayed ready, and everyone looks good. Where did you spend most of your time? I was down south uh, for most of it, really? yeah. Is there any incentive that you'd like to offer some fans who may have been by the locker? That is out of my control. That's uh, that's what that's what the management and, and ownership is going to decide to do. I'm sure they'll do something because, like I said, we, we feel bad that the fans have, have missed the game and we weren't out there to provide the, you know, the product on the ice. But we're excited to play in front of them again and looking forward to it.